Hello! We are back in Hogwarts today. Back with the fancy guitar. Oh my god, I just realized there's people over here too. <gasps> well, anyways, um, hopefully I have my audio fixed. If not, I guess we're gonna have to wait through another episode. But getting back into it. Oh, I don't remember what I'm doing. Hold on. Is it here? There we go. Okay. Yes. I never attended class, so we're gonna go to Charms class. I am very excited to continue this series. I don't really know where it's going, but so far it's been a thrill. What is happening? Aha! Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I want work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Sebastian! Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Hey! Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Yes, I am. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? <laughs> I'm like, Anyone? oh. Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed by partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. I don't even have... Oh, we're doing things. Okay, hold on. Boom, did it. Yoink. Thank you. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Ooh. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Everyone's looking on like he's crazy. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> That does not sound like a joyful chirp to me. Why am I up there? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. Um. <laughs> what am I doing? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, okay. Think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them towards you. The trick is excellent control there. Aha! Okay. Splendid! Oh! 
okay, I did it. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! I perfect score. Oh, jeez, I just whacked my mic. <laughs> I got too excited. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Hey. Well, there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Of course. Why would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Mm-hmm. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yep, you go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Let me guess. She's either gonna mess them all up or she's gonna do every single one perfect. There's no in between. Uh huh. I got this. Aha! Okay, so it's like almost all the way through orange, she let go. Okay. No, I don't want that one. That one. There. Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought that one was going off. Fail. Please fail. Knock one of yours off. No. Okay. Oh my gosh. I did it. We're good. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Are we done? Let us make this a bit more interesting. The first start. What now? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. No kidding. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Yeah. This round settles it all. Watch this. Is she gonna mess this up? Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. So. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say okay like 14 million times by the time it's done. Please mess up again, please mess up again. Oh. You blocked me off. <laughs> what is the best way to do this? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Quite impressive. Now, can I get this one just straight up here? That is how it's done. Okay, well, I've already beat her. So technically, even if I completely fail this, I'm good. Okay, I'm thinking I go now. Oh no, oh no. Are you kidding? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I still beat her though. Still did it. We're good. Woo. Very good, both of you. Well done. Thank you. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Bacta. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I don't know, I think I'm doing all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. I'll, I'll be nice. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. Too Fair enough. Lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. 
My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Yeesh. Uh, question time. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Oh. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. I feel like she kind of seemed intimidating. Was saying I was dumb. To me. It always felt like home. What does it look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Mm. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Um, magic. <laughs> this may seem an odd question, but... Is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Speaking of wands, I'm so excited to get my dang wand. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. That's a good point. I must admit, however. That I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> okay. Question time it's done. Nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. How do you know he, he wants to talk to me? Him. He's just standing back there suspiciously. Of course, you can use Aki on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Who is this guy? Like, I know oh, this is Sebastian. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Hello. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Yes, sir. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. That is also true. Charm is there in the expected. You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Oh? <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. No, thank Expect you. To hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. <laughs> How nice of you. I love that. Okay. Am I supposed to talk to people? Professor you look like Harry Potter. Me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Fair. He was a little bit kooky. After my brother. Her book just fused into the desk and disappeared. Hey! Hello. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. Hello, Hello, Samantha. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thanks. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charm. Well, <laughs> I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> that had to have been a voice crack, right? <laughs> what was that? Oh. Are you good? Who just lounges on the stairs like that? Okay. I am. What is happening? Anywho, we have one more class to attend. Let's go and see where that is. Defense against the dark arts. Okay, class number two. What kind of hectic thing? Okay. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. 
I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a <laughs> token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Hey! I didn't even finish my sentence and they did something hectic. Age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Proet? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Heck yeah, let me add it. Okay. I don't know if I'm actually doing those correctly. I feel like I can do them better. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at that. Easy. Give me a challenge, come on. Now, let's try something a little larger. Uh-huh. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Uh-huh. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise... It won't let me click it! ...is a weak opponent. So, well done. I did it. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. Sebastian! We'll start with you two. Duelists, mm. take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Mm. Now, I will mm. fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Ow! I'm gonna take that as a win. I just kind of kept spamming Not stuff bad, though. <laughs> you give as good as you get. Thank you. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Oh, look at me, Thank you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. I will. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. Um... So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Mm. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. Um, why? <laughs> That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Can I talk to you? Hello. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Okay. Hey. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, I don't think I would have won that one. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Makes sense. <laughs> nice work. Hey. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. I don't know what you're talking about. expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then it's again, not even my wand. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. 
Oh. I think I'm still supposed to be keeping that a secret. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. <laughs> be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. What are you up to? I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see. <laughs> sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I am interested. Until next time. Now, where do I go? <laughs> okay, so what if I would have said no to joining this secret or like whatever the secret club thing is? I don't know if I'm actually joining it or what, but would he have been like, You're lame and then been mean to me? <laughs> Here I come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? <laughs> as long as we only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. Like, give me a heart me attack. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Hey, um, this is glowing for some reason. Revelia. Tego. Lumos. Leviosa. <laughs> Aha! I got a page. Who am I sp The kid with the thing above his head, probably. Yes? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels across ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so... You must have really impressed Sebastian. Well, I kind of knocked him off of a table. <laughs> so, I... Um... Ah, I'm gonna continue being really nice. to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does uh, Cross Ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. Easy enough. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Heck yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, I agree. Once, <laughs> you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Um, yes. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Okay, now hopefully I don't mess this up. <laughs> we'll make you regret signing up. Okay, why? Wh what? What is that for? I didn't do anything to them. Break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell. Target lock. Let you track enemies without aiming. Use. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming it wants. To Ooh. Ow. Okay, I'm getting scared. Okay, there we go. Jerk. <laughs> go. Ow. I think it's literally just her left, right? Okay. <laughs> I definitely am not almost dead. <laughs> what? Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. She was eyeing me. Help me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels. 
but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Okay. Again, congratulations on your first Cross Ones victory. Well fought. I didn't think I was going to win. Hope to see you back here again. Uh, don't you worry. I will be. Well, I'm gonna assume I need to talk to you. <laughs> Next time you need a partner for Cross Ones, don't hesitate to call on me. Okay. Okay, anyways, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Quests. Oh, I gotta meet with Professor Weasley. Okay. Back to the school things, I guess. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Salad. You talking to me? What are you walking around with? You he has like some red orb thing. Look, look, look. What is it? What is that? Okay, Manda's up to something I don't know if I want to be involved in. <gasps> I can pet the cats. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Deke. <laughs> could help. Hey. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, okay. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They yeah. Did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? I'm not supposed to tell you. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a stream. Regardless, you must continue Listen. to build on what you've learned. <laughs> you told me not to say anything. Regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Okay. <laughs> Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you a first one. No! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, uh. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, Potion recipes and spell crafts. Uh -huh. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect <gasps> you with the perfect wand. A wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, I, I guess potions. <laughs> Shop, I only really care Do about my wand, though. Stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Mm -hmm. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Okay. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Ollivanders! There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh my Very wand! Well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Okay. Perhaps Sebastian <gasps> Sam or Natsai <gasps> and I. I've noticed you spending time with them. <laughs> I'd like to go with Sebastian. I have, have to. to. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Um. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once okay. you Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Bed. Okay, on my way. There's another cat. Okay, hold on. I have to pet the cat. See, what if like I need the cat's help later on, and they're like, oh, oh, there you are. oh hello. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes ah. things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. 
It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of <laughs> your professors have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Okay, so we couldn't have done this when I was in your classroom like 10 minutes ago. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay, what is my task? This is the right area. I wonder where the got it. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what are, what are you? Revelio. Lumos. Oh. Okay, cool. Is there another one over here? No. Man, I just ran over here for no reason. Okay. A flying page must be around here somewhere. It's right there. Brilliant. Did I get all of them? Based off the music, I'm assuming I did. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Uh -huh. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Um, it, rude. Excuse you. In your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Okay, that was long. <laughs> so now I'm just going to Hogsmeade. He doesn't say goodbye or anything. He's just like, okay. <laughs> Going this way. Sebastian! Well, fancy meeting you here. Hey. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Yes, this sir. Is your first foray into the village. Mm -hmm. It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Oh, yeah. Hogsmeade's a charming little place, self contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's running. Okay. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? Well, That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. <laughs> Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Okay. So, uh, so how what did was you that? To get on the librarian's bad side. Well. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. Uh -huh, okay. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion. So I'm supposed to take them? Oh, he's on the move. Okay. Merlin's <laughs> beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. Huh? What's going on? 
see for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? What? You certainly don't see that every day. He acted like it was some big bad thing. Already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Okay. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. <laughs> ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Okay, I enjoy that they added like him getting out of breath from running. That's kind of cool. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Let me grab these mushrooms. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year, huh? Hello. Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything right? Uh -huh. Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Um, okay. Advice. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. <laughs> I've never right. seen the moon in such a state. <laughs> oh. Mr. Moon is quite okay. the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Well, you know, he probably oh, could. Your sister in Slytherin too. She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Is that why he's trying to do all this random research? Is because of his sister? Hmm. <gasps> There's a cat. Hold on. Pause. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> Flock to it like moths to a flame. Um, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> There's a lot going on. What the? That is a big lock. Oh. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can't wait to see what you got a whole shopping one. list and a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village i just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished deal remember have fun it's hogs mead okay hello i'd like my wand now please i'll be right with ah it's you hey um, just a moment, please. Um. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now... Come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Oh, it looks cool. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh. Hmm. How <laughs> odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Uh. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? One well, said nope. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, I don't like how that one looks. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the 
shelf for you. Uh, this is <laughs> going to be trickier than well. I anticipated. How perplexing. Um, because I'm special. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Mm. She's like, mm, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm keeping the whippy because that's funny. <laughs> that one. I'm leaving the rest of it to be what it is. I'm not changing it. I'm going with it. Here we are. I don't know. I wonder if that has an effect, like on how the game goes. I doubt it. I feel like they would have to tell you if it did. <laughs> Extraordinary. Whoa. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. You should cut me off. The dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. Dazzling? And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, the dazzling magic got me. That's everything. <laughs> Better go and find Sebastian. <gasps> Look at it! Look at it! Okay, anyways. Off to meet Sebastian. Where he at? Oh, hey! Oh, that little kid just I ran into you. Have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh. What? What is that? Uh. Man. I just got my wand and it's already thrown me into this. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, oh lord. I was not prepared to have to do that. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's definitely wanting me to like to dodge instead of using okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! I don't know, but I'm doing it. Oh, ay, 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 He still hit me. Oh. Dude, I can only. <sighs> Bruh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Leave him alone. No, wait, that doesn't mean hit me. <laughs> did I do it? Oh, I did it. Woo. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on.
Did that just say ancient magic? How do I just know how to do that? Uh, goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? The cotton candy just dancing sorry. in the background. <laughs> it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. I still don't understand you what that is. Unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Uh, are we just, like, not gonna mention the fact that I just pulled out some ancient magic? How is that a thing? Oh, a moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Okay, I guess I'll just fix everything by myself then. Okay, let's continue on here. Okay, sorry, I've been delaying. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. You're welcome. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. I'm just gonna accept Thank it. You, Mr. Hill. <laughs> That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Is it free? <laughs> Plenty for your perusal today. Take it is. Time. <gasps> oh. I don't want anything else. I'm saving my money. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I like how the streets are just empty now. Like, I get it, but... I wouldn't be on the streets if a troll just attacked. <laughs> it looks like the guy from the beginning that did the weird, like, creepy disappearing thing. Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? That's right, I did. What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they, they see us? They yes. I don't think so. They what definitely was that did. Doing with Victor Brookwood. Ranrock is working with Brookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd see him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Okay. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. <laughs> we just buzzed in there. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh! Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Hmm. Something's not right. Clearly. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Uh, 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 no time, Lane. 
Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. His wand is Come ugly. <laughs> the three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Creep. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. I don't know what I did, really. I'm gonna be Trons, honest. Van Rock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Oh my god, what happened to my eyelashes? And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Oh. I think he's mad at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is happening here? What's up? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Yeah. Okay. I have a new thing down in the bottom right corner. I don't know what that is. But I'm assuming I'll find out soon. However, I feel like, you know, we've made it back to back to the room. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's a little owl to read the mail. Yeah, I feel like this is a good solid place to end. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I kind of feel like next episode we're going to be getting into more of the thick of it. Maybe it'll get a little interesting. I have a feeling from now on. But yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Oh, pff, bye.